Hello. Sorry, it always, always takes me a few minutes to get my bearings. I don't play this save very often. Welcome to the Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2024. Uh, this is my Michigan save. Today I'm going to set my depth chart. So I'll show you how I do that. And then if you're here just to see that, don't worry. It's right at the beginning of the video. Don't worry about the video being an hour long. The rest is just my save which hopefully will be better. But, okay, so first thing I do is I take what the AI has given me and I trash it. Every time I come off this page, I hit store lineup because I've gone off and come back and then everything's reset and it just drives me nuts. So I go position by position. We're going to start with point guard. So I know in the save previous, I've just kind of been flying through this, but I want to kind of slow down. And um, because flying through this has made my results suffer. So first of all, I look at who I have. Preliminary judgment of their star rating. But then I also look at who I have at shooting guard. So Ricky Barnes has a 52 in handling, but only 26 pass. But when you see that the best passer on my team is only a 30, that makes him a candidate to fill in at the very least at point guard. Uh, his defense is one of the best on the team. His steal rate is close to the best as well. He does draw fouls and he's very disciplined and his IQ is kind of on the low side. So he is a candidate. He can shoot the three. I'd rather have him back here. But another first thing I do, another first thing, I, there's a lot of first things I do. I check the heights of everybody. So I like, in my other saves, I have tall guards that I can play them at small forward. That's not the case here. So I'm not gonna do that. Go back to ratings. So I have four point guards that I can play. Now, Jermaine Rice, not Glenn Rice, Jermaine Rice, he is probably my fourth point guard at the moment, so he's also a, a freshman. So as such, I'm going to red, red shirt him. Hopefully that doesn't bother him to the point where he leaves. Now, Shepard is another guy. I was so excited to recruit him but he is also my third option at shooting guard. So I'm also going to redshirt him. Because my other freshman here, Owen Mann, he's definitely playing. Definitely. And Dickie Ryan's definitely playing. So now that I've got those guys redshirted, it gives me uh, a better idea of who's going to play. So I go to the strategy page. And I look at who knows the offense. So right away, Bybee, being a senior, he knows. But he also knows it more than Hammond. So it's Bybee and Hammond. O'Connor does not know it. He came in on a transfer. He knows the high post. So he's going to be a slow, um, slow burn if he plays at all. He's probably not going to play much. He's got the best handle on the team. Well, no, Bybee's... Better than him. So I'm going to go Bybee and Hammond and then maybe give O'Connor the garbage minutes. So right off the bat, I'll do that. See what I mean? It just reset. So if I hit restore lineup, I can also clear it, but restore brings it to where I left it. So where's the guy? O'Connor. No, where was that new guy? It was O'Connor, I think. I have such a bad memory. Out comes the notepad. Yeah, D. O'Connor is going to be the garbage guy. Bybee's going to start, and Hammond will be the backup. So I'm going to give O'Connor the garbage minutes. Now, one last thing I'm going to do. This wants King to be the point guard for some reason. It's not going to happen. So I'm going to take a look at Bybee's player profile. He doesn't care about minutes. That's always good when you see that. He's also not friendly. That's not always good. And then Hammond, hopefully he doesn't care either. Yeah, he doesn't care. 
So I can do what I want with these two. O'Connor, he probably is going to care. No, he's not too concerned. Okay. These three point guards are great. I can do whatever I want. And because Bybee knows the offense, he's going to be my main guy. Hammond, he was at 70 with his uh, proficiency in the sets. So he's he still has some knowledge of what we're playing here. So I'm going to give him three minute, three blocks in the first half, four out blocks in the second half. So he's going to play 14 minutes. Bybee's going to play 26. And then the garbage guy is going to be O'Connor. Now we go to shooting guard. So we have Brandon King and Randy Barnes. This is pretty easy when there's only two. Uh, what does Brandon King care about? He doesn't care about minutes. I'm having uh, good luck. I got a good group here. Randy Barnes is also not concerned. Now, Brandon King being a junior, he's going to be around one more year, so I got to pay attention to that. He's a four-and-a-half star potential, so I want to give him some minutes. Problem is, Randy Barnes is better defensively, and he's got a better shot. What is Brandon King better at? He's going to take slightly more shots, but that seems to be it. And that's not, that's not what I want him better at. Like He's going to take more shots, but he's not as good. So Barnes is going to play a lot. Now let's look at how much they know the offense. I'm taking. I'm thinking Barnes knows it quite a bit. Fifty-six to ten. Neither one is uh, really proficient here, so I'm just going to go with what I wanted. So it's going to be Barnes first, King second. I'm going to give Barnes a lot of minutes. Because he knows the offense pretty well. So he's got, he's 30 minutes. King, I want the garbage time. Garbage time is a good time to get your guys minutes. So hopefully I have a lot of blowouts in my favor. Got to stress that. Now, small forward, we have... Owen Mann is the man for sure, and he's a fresh man. And then Ayrton, Arlen Manning will be the backup. Hopefully uh, Manning doesn't care about minutes. So Owen Mann wants solid minutes. He's a, not a friendly guy, but he's, his popularity is average. That means he's not friendly, but he doesn't cause problems. He keeps to himself. Everyone seems to tolerate him. He has a low relationship with the team and decent relationship with me. Arlen Manning, he doesn't care about minutes, and he's got a great relationship. His work ethic is excellent, but he's disliked. It doesn't make sense. Eh? Well, it doesn't matter if he's disliked. He's not really going to play a lot. So Owen Mann is the freshman. I want him happy. I'm just going to feed him the minutes. I don't like anyone playing more than four minutes at a time. I mean, sorry, eight minutes. I keep thinking these are one-minute blocks, but they're four, they're two-minute blocks. Uh, Manning is going to play sparingly. I'll have him start the second half, though, because I want Man to have a little bit of a break at the halftime, and then we'll finish up strong. So I got him playing 32 minutes and any overtime. It's a lot of minutes for Man. I think he can take it, though. Store that lineup. Let's look at him again. He's very durable, so let's see. Prove it. Power forward. So Gerard McCamey has really fallen off. He's down to two stars now. Hopefully he comes back up. He's four-star potential. But for now, Marcus McDade, the transfer, has taken over. Problem is, well, it's not really a problem. He's uh, 56 on the knowledge of the flex. And my other two, he's not playing. I'm going to try out a bunch of different um, tactics this year, but primarily the flex will be our set. Now, McCamey, he's been around, but we didn't play the flex last year, so he knows the motion in the Princeton. McCamey's not concerned about minutes, which is great because he's not going to get a lot of minutes unless he improves. 
unless he improves. So I got McDade at power forward. That was a great pickup in the transfer portal. And I hate the transfer portal. I really hate it. It's so expensive in this version of the game. And they just, they don't, ex- they, you, they'll have you number one. You'll campaign hard for them, give them everything, offer them the scholarship, and they won't take it for like four rounds. So there was one save I was doing. I was a small school. I had $30,000 total to recruit. And by the time the uh, transfer portal was done, I had about $9,000 left. Like it can go fast. It's like a slot machine. Store lineup. Center position. It's going to be strong for us. We got Dickie Ryan. He's going to play a lot, a lot, a lot. I got Longquist just to be a body. I don't even really have to look. So Dickie Ryan doesn't know any of the sets, but it doesn't matter. Even if Lundqvist is a pro at it. Well, he knows the shuffle in the Princeton pretty well. But he's still going to be a backup. He doesn't care about minutes. Wonderful. Wonderful. And Dickie Ryan expects starter minutes. Well, you're going to get him. And he's going to learn this offense. I always like to put the people that are playing up here. Did McKamey not get any minutes? Oh, I gave him to the wrong guy. Okay, I'll fix that in a second. We've moved on to center here. I'm just going to mirror what McDade is doing here. And then there's one more thing I want to check before I move on from setting the lineup, setting the depth chart. Store here. Now, another thing I like to do, I want to identify my big scorers. So Owen Mann, Brandon King, and then Dickie Ryan. McKamey's not really going to play. So Mann, King, and Ryan. I want at least one of those on the floor at all times. Okay, so... King kind of plays the opposite of man. I'm going to have to change this here. I got two minutes where they're not there. But McKamey's on there. He's a good scorer. So that's fine. And then here we got... Same thing, but we got McKamey. So I have at least one good scorer on the floor at all times, and I want that. Because if you don't have anybody with high scoring rating on the floor, they're going to just hold the ball or pass a lot, and you're going to get a lot of high turnovers. So at, I'm playing the 1 to 100 scale, so you're not going to get super high numbers. But my highest guys, 33, 32, 30... I have one of these guys on the floor at all times. And when I don't, it's McKamey. He's at 27, so I'm okay with that. So there you have it. That's how I set my lineup. That's how I set my depth chart. Now, before the way I was playing, I was playing very high intensity. So it was more um, more rotation. So I wouldn't have guys playing more than 30 minutes. Absolutely not. But now I got four starters at 30 minutes. I might even bump up Bybee a little bit. Because, um, yeah, maybe I'll do that right now. Just because he is very knowledgeable of the offense as compared to Hammond, who's the backup. And that's it. 